Welcome, my name is Menturius and uh, this is a review of Kingdom and Castles. I've uh, done an episode of 10 series, I guess 10 episodes of this nice looking indie game. It's, uh, it's a pretty easy game. And I think it should be a little bit more challenging. Maybe when we go for the 5000 uh, citizens it will get a bit harder but the main problem is food and space to put your people in so when you put your people on the water like we did in some areas uh, I guess uh, this is a nice example of it you can get a pretty uh, pretty far with this game I do think they need to implement implement fishing. Would be very a very nice addition, and some other challenges like the Vikings and and uh, dragons would be nice. Maybe some diplomacy with other countries, but hey, it's still an early game. The graphics do look pretty nice. It's 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 not a high graphic game, but with the style they go for, it's it's a pretty good game, a good looking game, and yeah, it's it's what it says it is. It's a city management game, and it does a very good job at that, building defensing defenses, and yeah, when I hope they implement they implement fishing. Because uh, yeah, that would make the game a little bit more fun and challenging. You can also implement more challenges with that, like a tornado or fishing boats being attacked. But all in all, the gameplay is is good. It's fun. It's it's not a long game to play, but it's uh, it does give me uh, enough satisfaction so with all uh, I would give this game a, a 7 out of 10 rating and that being said it's an uh, early uh, indie game so they have a very promising way to go they could go to an 8 or a 9 or maybe even a 10 but hey we will see, maybe we will take another look in the future and uh, see what they improved maybe they even seen this ref review and implement fishing part would be nice thank you for watching, uh, my name is Menturius and uh, this was a review of Kingdom and Castle Kingdom and Castle getting a 7 out of 10